The Morris Bishop International Airport Air Traffic Control confirmed that they received a distressed call alerting them of the engine failure of a Piper aircraft en route from Margarita to Grenada and approved the pilot's request for an emergency landing at the MBIA on Friday evening. Regrettably, the aircraft crashed approximately 14 miles off the coast of Grenada, which prompted the activation of the Grenada Airport's Authority's emergency response plan. The pilot of the aircraft, Daniel Lazaria, an Italian national, re-encountered his experience. It was so fast, I really don't know what, what, what the problem was with the engine. And my only thing was try to make it in the water and not kill myself. I just wanted to glide and try to hit the water as clean as possible. I was able to do that. Myself and the passenger were not hurt, harm or anything. We just grabbed the raft, got on the raft and just started praying. And I, I noticed the tower, we had an emergency and tower communed to me that they were going to immediately call the Coast Guard. And if it wasn't for the Coast Guard, I wouldn't be telling you the story right now. They were extremely fast, professional, serious, and kind. I have no word for them. And for the rest of my life, I owe my life to them. The pilot said that during the ordeal, he was terrified that he would never again see his seven-year-old daughter and wife back home. He explained that as they sat in a small raft waiting for help, he was not optimistic that they would be found in time. The owner of the aircraft, Jose Gomez, also commended the Grenada Coast Guard for their quick response as he too was worried about not seeing his family again. No, Really, he was just praying that somebody rescue them because they know what to explain how he felt at the moment. He, he understanding that their lives could have been lost. Both men received medical attention at the General Hospital where they were medically cleared and discharged. Inspector Dexter Roberts of the Grenada Coast Guard said they received a distressed call at about 1 p.m. After notifying neighboring countries, they sprang into action. I mean, if we were able to deploy an asset or send a vessel out at sea, to really investigate the matter. The call coming from the, from the airport said that there was a small aircraft in distress somewhere around 14 miles south of the, um, of the airstrip. So we deployed that vessel and they went in the general area and continued our search, you know, started searching basically. In incidents like these, there is a regional effort as well. And that is where the regional security system comes into play. So um, we inform Barbados as well because they are, that's the head office of the regional security system. We also inform Trinidad and Tobago because they are the coordinating center for search and rescue within the southern region of the Caribbean. So it is um, protocol that we involve these, um, these areas or these um, countries whenever we have situations like these. Especially for aerial assets in terms of aircraft to do search, we, we are the Coast Guard in Grenada. We're very limited in terms of aircraft and the Trinidad Regiment, they have helicopters and aircraft that we normally would use to do search and rescue out in the deep water whenever we have situations like that. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security Honorable Deacon Mitchell also commended all parties for their quick action, which resulted in the successful rescue of the persons on board. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.